Welcome back to Legoland 5, everybody. Last episode, we created this very nice beach house. And today we're going to be working on some paths and roads to go throughout the city. And this will give a good uh, map of the city as well. So uh, we're going to do a road, I think, through here. And I guess we can use this kind of as an outline. So I'm thinking of a cul-de-sac here. Yeah, that'll work. And then it'll connect this island and this island. And maybe maybe a house over here. And then we'll have to connect these roads. Something like this. And then I guess it would go... Let's make it go along the shore. So we can have houses along the shore. And I think just something like this would work out really well, wouldn't it? Yeah, because that would give you plenty of... Plenty of space, I think, for a road. This is a big creeper hole, I think. I'll just jump over it. And then let's curve this way. Just keep going straight. Okay, this this is going to be nice. Because you want to keep these type of roads normally straight. Okay, I think this will work out really well. And then, I think here would be a good T-intersection. So bring that over here, and I think up to this point would be good. So I'm going to keep uh, laying out everything, and we'll look at it when I'm done. I don't want to bore you to death already. Okay, guys, I created just a general layout, and I'm going to show you a cool trick that we can use to kind of get up there. And it's, I mean, it's quite obvious, the trick, but, whoops. It just saves a little bit of time. So you just place down an ender chest or whatever. That's not a full block. And, okay, so yeah, this looks nice, doesn't it? So we're going to have two buildings here, probably, maybe four there. And then two houses there, maybe two or three houses here. Big house here. Uh, this would be a good property, so would this one. And I think this over here would be a pretty good property. So here I think is going to be more commercial, and these are all going to be houses. And this island's going to be worth quite a bit, I think. So I wanna, uh, let's finish up that trick I was showing you. So now that we're done looking up here, you just jump off and break that. That's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to actually lay these roads down. And then we'll uh, get up and start looking at the house boundaries. The border borders for the plots, I guess. And so the roads are done. You can see a little bit of character within them. Like, you've got a turn there, and it kind of slants a little bit here and there. Here's a little bit more straight, but we've got this kind of definite line going through. And imagine this throughout the entire place. Now, if you really look at it, it's not that big. And so, I don't think this is going to be that big of a project, really. So, I don't, I'm not too worried about getting it done uh, too, too soon, really. But I do want to kind of get most of these done before too long. So let's jump down and let that uh, fall. Oh, okay. And I'm going to show you some of the plots that we're going to be selling because these aren't just going to be buildings that I make. It's going to be a lot of other people make and I'm going to be kind of cheap and make everybody pay for them. So we've got this plot, which is 500 tokens, which isn't too big, really. Now this uh, island over here, I would have made like 10,000 tokens, but somebody moved in, so I'm going to make them uh, do extra work, I guess. They moved in before I could put a sign up. This one's a nice plot, 1,500 tokens. This one, I believe, is only 500, yeah, 500 tokens. 
thousand. This one and this one are larger. Now the commercial plots, which are going to be shops, are a bit more expensive for this for their size. So this is a thousand, and it's tiny. This is 750 because it's kind of a weird shape. If I run over here, these are all the same price, except for this one, which has a spawner actually below it. So maybe uh, it could be like a mending shop where you go and repair your armor. That'd be cool. So yeah, these uh, four commercial plots are the same. And actually, Sharpness is making a bank for all of us, which is going to be pretty neat. Looks like he just got diamonds. So this plot is 500, and this one's a really big plot, so I think it's... I made it 5,000, because that makes sense. Whatever. This one's 500, and this one's 500. And so, I like the plots, because it kind of forces everybody to do a bunch of work, rather than just sit around and enjoy... Uh, me doing most of the work but with the coins I'm gonna make them make them uh, earn them by playing games or or by not playing but creating games and helping me build them and stuff like that so we're gonna build a few more buildings maybe in the next clip I don't know what we're gonna be doing next so whenever I feel like it I guess I'll show you what what's been done so I'll see you in some random amount of time okay so I've changed some things around town we've built this bank it's gonna be sharps bank and that's where we're gonna create and kind of make loans with the brick tokens but I'm going to jump up a bit, and you can see we've got sidewalks now, and also crossing places for the intersections, which will make a little bit more sense once we put in stop signs and whatnot, all the different signs. And we've got all of the plots still. I think Fox took this plot, the one with the cactus. But we've also dug out a lot, too. And so I'm going to keep digging. And once we flatten the entire thing, I'll be back.
You know what? I'm kind of tired of digging already. It's just not very fun. So we've got some assistance. Or should I say encouragement. And we're going to light this place up. Will this chain reaction? Let's see. That's all it did? Come on. Take two. That's uh, still not all of them. That was pretty good. Okay, here's the big one. There we go. That was pretty awesome. Okay. Let's add a couple more. Okay, I think this is going to be the last one for now. Maybe a couple more after this, but this will be the last biggest one. Are you ready? Oh, that was a good one. Fire in the hole. I decided we should just take a break from all of that digging and let's do some building. So I think this is a good plot for me and because I created, the, created all the plots I couldn't just pay myself so I just get it for free which is nice. Plot. Uh, let's, we don't really need a pumpkin here. I already prepared a bunch of items here and we're just going to use these all for the build. I don't know if that's enough glass but that's uh, okay. So I think what we're going to do is use these for the walls. Yeah that'll work. And then tear out the floor Let's make that spruce probably. Okay, so now we have our spruce floor. Let's do some smooth sandstone walls. Okay, so we have like the main walls done. Now we need an entrance. There's our entrance. And we need some windows. Now we need some different blocks for structure. Now we need one more layer and then a roof. Now you need some interesting roof parts. Now you need a checkout counter. Now you need chests. Now you need an interesting beam in the center. Now you need signs with prices and items to sell. Now you give the shop a name. Now you add some doors. And finally, add an ATM. And that's how to make a shop. Well everybody, let's look at some of the progress that I've made. I've dug a little bit since the last clip, and I've made a pretty sizable dent in the desert here. 
I'm not entirely done, but I don't think I have a whole lot of work left to do. So I'll finish this before next episode. And... <laughs> There's a lot of chunk hairs. And uh, we can look at some of the shops. We've got Fox's new shop, which is looking nice. It's very square and uniform, I guess. Then this is a shop I made. It just sells uh, the main minerals. It puts value to the brick tokens. But like I was saying, this shop puts value to the brick tokens, making them more valuable than some may see. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'm a little bit overdue. I wanted to make this series a weekly series. And uh, it's been about eight days, I think. But for the poll for this episode, I'm going to ask kind of a more behind the scenes question. And to reduce the world size so that we're not loading up too many chunks, I was thinking about making it so that when you kill the Ender Dragon, it drops a Shulker Box, an Elytra, and an end city chest. So th the poll that I want to do is going to be uh, where it normally is, the top right, and it's going to ask kind of which things should the Ender Dragon drop, and should it drop everything, or should it just drop uh, some of the things. I'm looking forward to see what you guys think about that. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.